This week on Maker Update, a virtual rocket controller, a light organ dress, a 3D printed detergent hack, a sanding mouse, and casting with Lego bricks. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. Last week I had this crazy idea that maybe it would be cool to have a guest host on the show just to mix things up. So everybody welcome Make Senior Editor Caleb Kraft, who's gonna run through some of his favorite projects of the week. Hey Donald, thanks for having me on. I am so excited. There are three projects that stood out in my mind this week and I'm eager to be able to share them on Maker Project Lab. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, the first one is this custom controller for the Kerbal Space Program by Hugo Peters. This thing is beautiful. I don't even play Kerbal Space Program, but I'm a big fan. It mixes, you know, uh, critical thinking and scientific thinking with absolute ridiculousness, which I think is a perfect marriage. And this controller just takes it a step further. Hugo's using a custom plugin that allows him to actually spit data out of the game to update the dials and stuff on the controller. And then he's feeding the data from the controller itself back through into the game. You can download all the code necessary from Hugo's GitHub page. After that, I spotted this really fantastic uh, light organ dress by Hackaday io user moco now a light organ if you're not familiar is just a bunch of lights that react to sound and this dress is that i love light organs it was the first pro uh, the first electronics project that i did in about fourth grade i've loved them ever since and this is such a fantastic use moco actually got this this fabric custom printed to fit with the circuit that she had in mind. She's done a couple versions of the dress. Check out her build log and get the code to recreate it yourself. Such a beautiful build. I love it. One final one to add on the end is this 3D print by Dave Wilson. If you use liquid laundry detergent out of these big bins that pour into a little cup, you pour that cup of liquid into your washing machine, you're always left with this cup that has this residual liquid detergent in it that just gets nasty over time. Either that or you gotta go rinse it off each time. I know, only a few of us have this problem, but it's really annoying if you've experienced it. Dave did a fantastic job. He created this custom 3D print that screws into the bin that allows you to take that cup, set it on top when you're done, and it slowly drains back in, actually salvaging that residual. Thank you very much for having me. This was so much fun. Back to you, Donald. It's time for another cool tools review. This time I've got a sanding mouse. I picked this up for $10 after seeing Nick Offerman talk about these in a This Old House video that I'll link to. If you want to get this exact same one, you can use the Amazon link in the description, which helps support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. A sanding block is one of the most basic woodworking tools, great for smoothing and shaping wood by hand. And up until now, I thought of sanding blocks as either a literal block of wood wrapped with sandpaper, or one of these contraptions where you pinch or wedge the sandpaper into a block. These will always work, but the paper is prone to tearing and it's awkward to hold and tends to waste the bits of paper around the edges. This sanding mouse is a great alternative. It's made of relatively lightweight foam that's contoured for your hand and fingers like a fancy computer mouse. The bottom is made of the stiff hook side of Velcro and designed to perfectly fit common five inch sanding discs from an orbital sander. Now maybe I'm biased because I already own a five inch orbital sander and have picked up a bunch of sandpaper discs at yard sales over the years, but I love having another way to put my sandpaper stock to use. I also like that because the entire surface of both the sandpaper and the block are covered in hook and loop, you can get really aggressive with this and not worry about a rip or a snag sending you back for a new piece of paper. And when you do need a new piece or just want to change up the grit, the old piece just peels right off. So that's the sanding mouse. You can pick one up on Amazon using the link in the description. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. I have a few more tips to share with you. Over on MakeZine, Gareth Branwin's Tips of the Week column has some interesting ideas like using Legos to create reusable casting and molding boxes. There's also a neat tip on adding washers to your glue bottle tips to make them easier to pull open. Adafruit unveiled a new feather board that uses the retro Atmega 328P processor chip, which is the classic Arduino chip and is compatible with classic Arduino code. The board sells for $12.50 and looks like a great option for sizing down and updating older Arduino projects. 
A new issue of Magpie, issue 66, is out. This one's all about media player projects, and like every issue of Magpie, you can download it for free from raspberrypi.org. There's also a new free-to-download issue of Hackspace magazine out, all about making with salvaged parts. I also really enjoyed this beginner's guide to electric motors written by Simon BDY on Medium. He goes over brushed and brushless inrunner and outrunner, gearboxes, servos, steppers, and even tiny piezoelectric motors. Finally, the call for makers has begun for Maker Faire Bay Area, which takes place May 18th, 19th, and 20th at the usual spot in San Mateo. And look who they used as a photo to inspire you to join. I'm literally a poster boy for Maker Faire. How cool is that? And that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, sign the email list to get show notes emailed out to you every week. And a huge thanks to Caleb Kraft for coming on the show and sharing his favorite projects this week. I'd like to make guests like that a more regular part of this show, so leave me a comment and let me know who you'd like to have on, and I'll see if I can make it happen. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.